but uh, I uh, she was working too. <laughs> but you, you you left the cramp in because see you, you would have probably steamed out longer mm -hmm. uh, yeah. when it came for the twisting because mm -hmm. you, you say maybe you left it for an hour and a half to get it really pliable mm -hmm. and then cramped it in and left it. And I find it's easier working with a longer lens. Yes. Oh, yes. Easy. Start from your hardest. Oh, yes. And yes. Back. yes. Yes. Short marks are always difficult to put down. Yeah. Because you, you've more purchase, no. purchase yeah. with a longer piece of wood. So the, with the oak frames now, when you wouldn't uh, be used bandsaws and stuff like that for cutting the... Uh -huh. the oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're all cut. They were all uh, trimmed. It's very hard mm -hmm. wood to, to work with. The, got, the wood all, came, wood just came like a tree sliced. Uh -huh. And they took the planks now that out of their cells. Yeah. I done doing there. Yeah, so three inch oak. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and then uh, and then they were all cut to a bevel. You see, put, depending on the, on which part of the boat they were on. Oh, it was a bit flat down at the boat, and then as you moved up oh. the stern and that, you be, you hit angled. Oh. How did and how did you get the shapes for the frames? Were they off a template? Off a template. Template. Yeah. Yeah. template. Yeah. That was all taken for the drawing yeah, boat, yeah. drawing loft. No. I that's an art, getting it for the drawing to the... Well, the the, yeah. <laughs> well you, you took it for the drawing up to the loft and you had a loftsman there who made it actual size mm -hmm. for uh, cutting the frames. And he took the bevel off the loft floor. Uh, there's a, the, the floor was all marked off oh, angles and that frame was made onto them. Oh, that's and, and they just made like templates and they went... Do it. And like I said, Thompson's, that was Willie Thompson himself that more or less oversaw that job. That was his job. Mm -hmm. he, was, he, he was the owner, but that, that. he made sure that these frames were cut properly. His father, his father was there. His father, right. His father was, and he would go down the yard picking up bits and he would say, no, I'll leave that bit for such and such a frame. Mm -hmm. And the, the bits of go and get it when he wanted to that frame. It was, a, it was an art trying to get as much frames out of the bit of wood as you could. Mm -hmm. for, for, I mean, you, you had to watch wastage. Mm -hmm. well, there's a lot of wastage. Well, there wasn't a lot of wastage doing there. No, <laughs> well, we're finding when we cut the planks out of the latch, you know, because of the, the curve of them, yeah. you do get a bit of, mm -hmm. a bit of waste. Oh, well, usually they went and picked trees we natural, natural bending. Mm -hmm. So know how you say you work for a rival shipyard. Do you remember a comet being built here? Uh -huh. Oh yes. Was it quite a, um, I don't know how can I say it, sort of well-known event here? Event. Yeah. Well, it was a prestige mm -hmm. for, for mm -hmm. Bucky, for that to be built yeah. here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. oh yeah, mm -hmm. the part that was built, the, the, up in the road there was just full of folk watching me and loaded on the lawn, they did about 10 away, yeah. It's the same when they were launching a boat. Was well, uh, they, they were just doing it to water, there was no, is there a boat out there waiting to catch it? They just, just let it go. So you talked about um, the Comet getting put on a trailer. Yeah. So could you just tell us about it? The, the Comet, as I say, was built in the shed. So then, to get the Comet outside, was a daunting task in itself. <laughs> because we had to, everybody was involved with tackles and whatnot. Right. And if I think right, she was pulled. For the right course. was far up, the yeah. stem was nearly touching the office, uh -huh. uh, looking out the office window. And then you had to pull her a side, a stern had to be pulled sideways round to get her to line up with the door before we could pull her out. Um, uh, it was a slow uh, process. Uh, Not manpower, just manpower. And, and a lot of logs, it was, it was using rollers <laughs> to take her out. And then, we had to, once we got her, you'll see the photographs there, out, we had to jack her up. And if I think, I might be wrong, in the thick stroke, we had to bore holes 
and put in uh, jokes in the side so that we could put in uh, sure. showers. Sure, keep it so up. when she was being jacked up, they put more blocks underneath. So it, it, these showers on each side, there's four of them, kept the weight, most of the weight. Kept the boat in an even keel. Right. And when the trailers, the uh, Pickfords came, it was like two trolleys. And one had to be put in the off side and one on the fore side, and they were tied up. Well, they're they? had their gear for expanding their trolleys, but they'd come in in two sections because we, then we had to dismantle the, the centre. Mm -hmm. so, so sit there on a, even again, the chokes sitting on the trolley. Uh, then, uh, I had the, the carpenters had to build a, on the trolleys so it wouldn't move like what we do when the, uh, going to lunch him, you know, mm -hmm. the, the carpenter had to shape it to the hull. Yeah. I think you're in a very same scenario down in Inverclyde because I worked for 30 years with the fisheries and worked and I, I saw the decline there because I used to reef it and Scots and that in the Clyde and how it, it just disappeared because mm -hmm. oh. uh, oh. I used to work out at James Watt Dock mm -hmm. that you know Greenock. And uh, before I, mean, I left, there was there was just nothing. nothing. Uh -huh. I, I'm only saying that to compare with here. No. Oh, I. Uh, so uh, it's you're it's just uh, like, like you're yeah. just uh, yeah. experiencing the very same. And you'll you'll notice we're going plumbers or whatever. They go to college. They're going to college to learn training there. But they're not getting the practical, where they would be getting an apprenticeship with a, 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 a hands-on mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, training, you know, it's where we did five years mm -hmm. uh, apprenticeship mm -hmm. uh, when we started. Uh, I think it's lost. Mm -hmm. It's going to be very difficult to, to, to regenerate. Mm -hmm. but you must keep folk showing them what it was. That's their heritage. Mm -hmm. uh, in this centre here, we've been ha uh, having school children in, and they are really enthralled and some of the questions that they've been asking is really fascinating mm -hmm. because they are interested mm -hmm. and I think that we should embrace that. Mm -hmm. And encourage it. Mm -hmm. And encourage it. Mm -hmm. So, oh, okay. to say, let it go, is a oh, non-starter. Yeah, yeah. What advice would you give to the team working on the Comet replica? Because you've been there. Who's built the first one? I would say, build it and be very proud of building it, to be honest. Very pleased that you're yeah, yeah. doing it. I didn't realise it was uh, how long ago it was. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you're, you're actually just carrying on like a heritage. From this area, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, so we are. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's something worth embracing because the last time I saw it, when I, when I left this, the company I was with, I, I came to the station at Port Glasgow. Mm -hmm. uh, I left the boat in Greenock and I was nearly crying mm -hmm. seeing mm -hmm. how the planks were opening up and she had been neglected. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a long time to lie out in the open. In the open. And I don't think there was a proper maintenance program. I think there was the no maintenance. It, 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 it was <laughs> obvious. Uh, it's a great, I think it's a worthy project. And I'm sure the people at Port Glasgow will appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure the boys and are taking part. Are, are you going to be sailing across the hills? <laughs> <laughs>